Blog Talk Radio. Viatorian Voices, Conversations on the Way, our podcast series that examines life within the Viatorian community. Hi, everyone. I'm Jim Mitchell. And, uh, you know, one of the great things about this podcast is we can look at different aspects of the Viatorian community. Sometimes we look at larger events or topics, perhaps, uh, you know, being called the faith or the Catholic uh, Viatorian Youth Congress. And sometimes we get to talk to just individuals and hear stories of uh, a single person and what uh, – what brought them to the Viatorian community. And that's what we're going to do today as we talk to Father uh, Moses Mesh, uh, currently serving down at Maternity BBM Parish in Bourbonnais, Illinois. We're going to find out about his background, um, where he came from, how he encountered the Viatorian community, and what he's doing today. So a lot to talk about. So, Father Moses, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time. I'm, I'm looking forward to our conversation today. Jim, thank you so much for inviting me. And I know you've been busy. We've been trying to get you on, so I appreciate you taking the time today. So let's let's go to the beginning here and, and um, kind of get your background a little bit. First of all, tell us about your, your homeland in, in Belize. Well, I was born in a village of Chinoosh, Corozal, Belize. Um, I grew up there with my family, coming from a family of ten, five boys, five girls, with mom and wow. dad, you know. Yes, it's a lot family, but then I grew up in school, Catholic school, all Catholic schools in Belize, in Corozal, Belize, and uh, yeah, that's my hometown, Belize. <laughs> and and what, with a family like that, you said you went to Catholic school, big family, what, what role did faith play in your childhood? Well, actually, my family, my mom and dad were very Catholic. Dad played the guitar in the choir, and Mom was the lector. And that brought us to church every month that we had Mass, because at that time we only had Mass once a month. So it was a privilege to be in church, you know. So we all went to church mm-hmm. together. And also at home, Mom and Dad would always pray the rosary, and we prayed together but at bedtime, at mealtime. So that brings us to a strong Catholic faith. It's interesting you mentioned only being able to attend uh, the liturgy once once a month. Now, is it simply a lack of, of priests and a lack of facilities that, that allowed you to do that? Well, at that time, it was the Jesuits who were in Belize. First of all, they were the first ones who established in Belize, bringing the faith. So this mm-hmm. Jesuit priest was in Corozal, Father John Schrader, and he was the one going to the villages and he had 23 villages or suburbs that he used to go around. So it was very hard. Lack of priests, I would say. Lack of resources. Yeah. Person. Yeah. Now, historically, the Viatorians have had some presence in Belize. At, at what point did you first encounter uh, a Viatorian in Belize? Well, it was actually during my teaching career that I met them, you know. I was a regular teacher first, and one of the Viatorians, Father Bill Carpenter, he came with the Viatorians there to give some catechism to teachers. Catechesis, especially Mm -hmm. this was for the literature for children. But then, um, well, before that, I had, I don't know if it was a dream or probably it was on my side of uh, surgery that I had the vision or a dream about the Viatorians. I remember um, during my surgery that I had the, the, the dream that I was entering a church and then there was a big monstrance. While I entered in church, my name was called, but with the Viatorian motto, which was Finite Parvulos Venire at Me. And it was mentioned three times. So Moses Benite Parvulos Benire at me. And uh, since that time, I have been trying to find out what Benite Parvulos means. So when I was a teacher, the Viatorians went to Belize, and it was 
Bishop Chris and Father Don Hall, who is our provincial superior now, he were the mm-hmm. first two priests that went to leave. And when they went there, I was a teacher, so the first person I met was them. And guess what? In their pocket of one of them, which was Father Chris, that was the motto that was embroidered. So I was in shock when wow. I saw the parable of the head at me. And that was like, wow, what does that mean? So I told him about my dream, about what happened, and he said, maybe you need to talk to me. So on a monthly basis, I went to him and I spoke at the parish, and he said, you know what, maybe God is calling you to be a priest. I said, what? I don't think so. <laughs> that was not in my mind yet. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what an amazing story. Now, at, at what you know that initial reluctance, obviously, I, I, I can understand it. At what point did you start to understand and appreciate perhaps that that call to to profess vows? Well, when I started looking for the meaning of sinite parvulus, sinite parvulus means let the little children came, come to me. And mm-hmm. at one point, my father had his wife been sick, and he said, you know what, let's go with me to Guatemala. So we drove out to Guatemala, and when we went to Guatemala, they went to the hospital, and in front of the hospital there was a, a building with with parabolos. And I go like, that word sounds familiar to me. So and I went to inquire what does that word mean. And I knock on the door, and there was a teacher who came out, and she said, and I asked, what does the parabolos mean? And she said, oh, kinder, kindergarten. So I go like, does God want me to open a kindergarten? So <laughs> I went to, I went back home and I told the principal maybe I should open up a, a preschool, a kindergarten for our school. So I did actually, and I worked with the kindergarten for ten years. But those names did not, Senite Parvulos did not left my mind. I was always bothered by it, and I go like, what does that mean? You know. So I mm-hmm. went with. The, on a monthly basis and started talking to him and then he said you know what that's our the motto of our Victorian community maybe you should join us God is calling you for something so that is how I went, ended up going to the Victorian community by finding out the well, meaning of the parable of Venire which means the little, let the little children come to me well we're just really enjoying the conversation with Father Moses Mesh uh, today, who currently is part of the Maternity BBM Parish in Bourbon, Illinois, and um, what interesting uh, roots uh, in his home country of Belize and, and his uh, his call to become a Viatorian. Uh, at what point then did you actually take your vows and, and become ordained? Well, when I, it was in July of the year 2001 that I decided to enter. So I called Bishop, um, Bishop Chris, which was at that, at that time Father Chris, and I asked him that I want to join. Uh, having discerned with him for almost two years talking about Benite Parvulos, Benite and me. So he said, yes, you can come. So I went there and I did two years of postulancy with him. Uh, while still teaching, and I saw what the Vitorians did, how they lived, and I really liked it. After the two years then, I was asked to write my letter, and I wrote my letter to the provincial asking to do my novitiate. So I came to Kentucky Bourbonnet, and I did my um, my novitiate year, and then after that, I professed first vows, which was in 2005. So... At 2005, I professed first vows, and that was in the least. We did it where my family could see what I was doing and other people, especially for young people to see uh, vocation, you know, to see what what is a religious brother, what is it to become someone in religious mm-hmm. life. Yeah. I, I'm sure your parents must have been very, very pleased to see you take that path after uh, being raised in, in the way you were. Were, were your, was your entire family able to to join you uh, for that process then? Yes, they were able to join me. The whole family was, the whole family, the whole district, people who knew me as leaving teaching and now entering religious life was something that they saw how it worked. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we've got a few minutes left here. So much more I want to talk about. I'll try and get to as many questions as I can, but I really appreciate uh, all that you've shared so far. But tell me about faith. Um, you know, you've served in Belize. You've served here in the U.S. You've seen the role of the church. Um, are there a lot of similarities or are there differences in, in the faith community between uh, Belize and here in the U.S.? There are similarities and there are also differences. Similarities, I would say, we go to, uh, to the Eucharist, to the liturgies, and we celebrate Mass the same way. But then, with regards to differences, you know, we have different races in Belize. We have the Mayan, we have the Kachi, we have the Garifuna, the Creoles, and they all have something special that they bring to the liturgy. For example, the Garifuna. They have the Our Father that they sing where everybody holds hands together and we sing as a family, so that brings us, the community, together. And then here, I see the faith somewhat similar in that sense, where people come to Mass. And let me tell you something. I've seen a lot of devoted people here in the state. But uh, where I see differences is that when it comes to bilingual Masses, then there is a where, I mean, I can see that some people does not like because it's being in two languages. Perhaps the mm-hmm. translation is what makes it longer and they get bored or they don't like it. So there I can see a little difference. In terms of comparing things, um, and I'm sure we could probably do a whole podcast on this, but with just a minute or two we have left, uh, the Vitorians play so many different roles. So you started your career pre priesthood as a teacher. You're now involved in parish life. Um, has that been an adjustment for you to to move into parish administration and, and becoming part of a uh, parish community? Well, let me tell you, when they ask me, what do you want to become, a brother or a priest? I said a priest. Since I have been a teacher in Belize, I didn't want to continue with teaching. I said I want to do something different. So taking role in the parish as a priest it's very it's been very helpful for me and it's very I really enjoy doing it. I like being with people, I like to share faith, I like to uh respond to people's needs, especially those who are seeking for more spiritual guidance. So I am really happy doing that, especially here at Bourbon A. Yeah. Now and the last question before I let you go, how about getting home? Do you get back to Belize occasionally? I do. I try to get uh, to Belize at least once a year to visit with my family. And when I go, I I really enjoy it being with my family, too, you know. Yeah, I've been to Belize once a year. Yeah. Yeah, that must be very special. Well, Father Moses Mesh, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, Father Moses is part of the Viatorian community, which proclaims Jesus Christ and his gospel and raises communities where faith is lived, deepened, and celebrated. Uh, founded, of course, by Venerable Louis Curbs, Viatorians are professed brothers and priests and lay associates striving to do everything well so that through their work Jesus may be adored and loved. And that includes the former foundation of Belize. Uh, Viatorians served in Belize from 1998 to 2015. During that time, they served in a variety of ministries and helped found a vocational school in 2004 that was named for St. Viator. Uh, the Viatorians in the U.S. still have uh, a foundation in Colombia and worldwide, and uh, continue to serve in 12 countries. So learn more about that. Reach uh, worldwide Viatorians. Visit the website viatorians-international.org. That's viatorians-international.org. Uh, really appreciate all the time today uh, from Father Moses and to all of you who have listened. This is Viatorian Voices, Conversations on the Way. On behalf of the entire Viatorian community, this is Jim Mitchell, and we look forward to having you join us for future conversations. Thanks so much for being here.